Well, Elsa is eating a bunch of mucus off the ground, but we don't see a baby, so I don't know if she's just in the first stages of labor or if she's had the calf when we were gone and I just hadn't spotted it yet. So, um, you can see her. She's, she's dropped something on the ground. She's got to be in her first stage of labor. And this little turkey right here was following her around this morning, all up under her. So I know she's curious um, about what's going on. So this is going to be a waiting and watching today, and we'll keep a very, very close eye on her. Um, I feel like she's definitely in her first stage of labor. She's passed. Um, she's passing the first stage. Um, so I'm just gonna watch her close. take us long to stay here I knew she was getting close when I pulled up she has been she pushed she stopped pushing by the time I got the camera on but she is um she's she's definitely in labor so we're super excited about that um you can see her bag is huge we knew she was getting really really close um so we're gonna have a baby today we pulled up and I saw her eating off the ground. I knew for sure she was in labor, so. That's a foot. Um, it kind of looks like a foot. Yeah. Kind of looks like. Yeah. A pop. Yeah. A thing. Yeah. What is that thing? She has a new baby. She has a new baby. She has a new baby. Curious George is over there with Elsa instead of over here on this side with her mama. She's been all up in Elsa's personal space, I guess, since she's having that baby. <laughs> morning off it's been a very stressful morning it's been flooding um, we milked this morning didn't hardly get any milk because even with calf sharing uh, the baby pretty much drained out yesterday it's been raining crazy it's been um, cold and of course now a good thing or well, hopefully a good thing we're actually uh, in the process of uh, Elsa having her baby so. we're gonna go and check on her she's doing okay right now she's a uh, Got the hooves out she's starting to get the head out so we're gonna take her some feed just to kind of keep her at one spot still walking all over the paddock take the other cows and get them back but it's been a crazy morning already hopefully this turns out good and not bad we'll see what this baby is so let's let's uh let's go check on her all right i have moved joe's made josie and Allie go back over because Elsa's been following them around. Colby brought some food out and dumped it on the other side to kind of get them out of the way so she would kind of focus on what she needs to be doing. So I had to bring the bucket food out and drop it in this little pile of hay where she was laying down a while ago, but Allie was messing with her and made her get up. I feel like she was making a lot of progress when she was laying down. So I moved those two numbskulls back over so they'll leave her alone and um, hopefully she'll 
um, continue to make some progression here in just a minute. Well, you can, you can see we've got uh, Daddy-O and Allie over, and of course their baby, Josie. Um, Miss Mac is over there with Elsa. Elsa finally sat down, so hopefully she'll go and have this baby. And Mama's yelling at me saying it's coming out, so let's go check and see if we can see, make sure the calf is okay, and make sure we don't have to pull this calf. Gracious, almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I don't know if y'all were in as much suspense as we were. We have a boy. So Allie had a girl, Elsa had a boy. We would have preferred to have that the other way around because Allie is natured so headstrong and um, Josie definitely takes after her mama. And uh, Elsa is very laid back and loving. And for Josie to be our future milk cow, all I can say is We've got some tough roads ahead of her of us and she's got some tough roads ahead of her. Got the onlookers. Daddy o was up here checking checking it out. Well I didn't get Allie's birth, but I got Elsa's. So She's probably for some pass or placenta, I guess. Y'all excited? Yeah. Y'all don't look too excited. Huh? Oh. Is he pretty? Hmm? Is he prettier than uh, Josie or not? He's not prettier than Josie. He's going to be dark like his mom and daddy for sure. Oh my gosh. Why don't you go back inside? It's cold. Uh-uh. Not cold to me. It's like 40 out here. I don't kill. You don't kill? She's been cleaning them off, kind of getting them looking better. I got hay around them just because it is about 40 out here. I mean, it's not cold, cold, but it's, you know, it's chilly. Uh, he's not, he's tried to stand up a few times, but hadn't got up quite yet. Uh, but it's cold, so we got a big pile of hay around him. She acted like she was starving, so I went on and gave her a little uh, dairy pellets just again to get her motivated to to keep watching him. She hasn't passed all of her afterbirth; she's passed some of it and ate it already. But now she's uh she's just been licking him and cleaning him off. So that's a good thing. It's what we're wanting. Uh, Trying to stand up, isn't he?
Well, that was a sweet surprise. Um, it's funny because we were driving back home from um, running errands in town and I said, who thinks Elsa's gonna have her baby today? And two of the four older ones said, we do. And so it was, it was a surprise to pull up and see that she was in labor. So um, that was fun. We've come inside to have lunch. It is lunchtime. She's doing great. Um, the baby's doing great. He has not gotten up and nursed yet. So the delivery was amazing. She did great. Um, she's laying down. So we're just going to kind of keep an eye on him and make sure that he's going to get up and nurse well because her first baby um, was taken away from her at a dairy barn. Um, but I'm sure Animal Instincts is going to kick in and she's going to do fine. But we're just going to keep a close eye on her and make sure that she takes her calf. And Kristoff is our new baby. Happy homesteading, y'all.